All right, we are back with another UFC Universe video, and if you missed any of the previous episodes, click the playlist link in the description. But we are in Paris for another fight night on February the 3rd. Surreal Gon and Jaelton Almeida makes a really compelling striker versus grappler matchup in the heavyweight division, which is main eventing this card. In the co-main event, it is a guaranteed war between Jalen Turner and the Frenchman Benoit Saint Denis. Hanato Moicano versus Drew Dober could determine who Patty Pimblett faces next. And Dominic Reyes is making his middleweight debut. Whenever I took the UFC president job, I saw that they were planning to do Reyes versus Carlos Olberg, and I couldn't believe it. I really like Dom, and I told him that I feel he could do great things in the middleweight division, and he agreed, so he's taking on the 7th ranked Roman Dolidze. And lastly, opening the card is Alexander Gustafsson versus OSP. And make sure to watch until the end because I'm feeling generous. I will be revealing two more prelim fights from UFC 300, Chandler vs. McGregor. Enjoy the fights, fight fans. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alexander Ramala Gustafsson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Ovid St. Cruz. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. While the majority of Open St. Cruz finishes in the UFC have come in the opening round. Oh, he's got a good too. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. Oh, oh. And now comes the stoppage. Takes the judges out of it. Gets the finish. Holy. Well, make no mistake about it. He is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Ovis St. Well, Our tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Dominic the Devastator Reyes. And now his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Assassin. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. All right, here we go with the perennial light heavyweight contender, Dominic Reyes, ready to go. Show. Oh! oh, another one. Man, what a fight. Oh, what a 15 man. minutes put forth. Relax, relax. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Dominic the Devastator Reyes. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, 
Rusher. And now it's Michigan's opponent fighting out of the red corner. And now call the You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Oh, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United States. You want to see the UFC on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying on those submissions. What a fight. Judges' scorecards will be needed tonight as we go the full 15 minutes. Well, don't leave it in the judges' hands. A little bit easier said than done. Competitive, close fight. You got to lean either way. I mean, it is horrible when you walk back to the center of the octagon not knowing exactly who won the fight. I thought he won a lot of the striking exchanges, but it wasn't very clear. So it'll be interesting to see who gets the decision. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, Russia! Whoo, those split decisions are something else. He is happy to exhale at this point in time. It was a close fight, and the judges certainly felt that way as well. It's the worst feeling in the world. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Warrior. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Turner. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Matchup with Southpaws here. Luster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. Oh! Oh! oh continuing to attack the right head as that diving punch lands. It's all. Believe it. Oh my lord! So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete. Have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. The venerable Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Turner. Well, could you imagine what the celebration is like? Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Assassin. So Herb Dean, third man, in there for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so here's Silicon in terms of the speed. And looking to land the right hand, he misses. Changes levels. Oh! Nice big takedown. What? And you can tell in the way that he's walking. Starting to take an effect. Shot a double leg. Oh! Massive slam. That'll change the complexion. Side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish the technique. tonight by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ he does a great job of staying patient he doesn't rush or panic you are never safe when you're fighting this guy 
you're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission, due to an arm triangle choke, Assassin! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting. Well, it did not go very well for the Frenchman on this card, but it was a pretty fun card. But it is time to add two more fights to UFC 300. We have Nick Diaz versus Tim Means and Jim Miller versus Paul Felder already. And now we have RDA versus Gunnar Nelson and Nikita Krylov versus Alexander Rakic. And that leaves just one more prelim for UFC 300. Now you may say that these prelims aren't the mega fights y'all have been wanting to see, but that is where the main card comes into play. That is where the mega fights happen. These prelims, I wanted to pay respect to the veterans. That's why it's more veteran oriented. Prelim headliner is a ridiculously good fight. It also features a legend of the UFC. And that will be revealed next week for the UFC 298 video. But yeah, we're officially on the road to UFC 300 and I can't wait for it. Make sure to like, subscribe for more UFC Universe videos.